Hi there. Now, why am I getting you to watch my washing machine do its spinner thing? Well, um, I'd set the washing machine to go early in the morning uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I was woken. And I actually thought somebody was sledgehammering on the door or something. I really didn't know what was going on. Came running downstairs, and the washing machine was jumping around all over the floor. Definitely very unhappy. So um, I took it apart, um, found what the problem was, and the problem was the dampers. I understand this is quite a common issue. And so I sort of um, thought I'd put a video together to show what I did. And I guess the repair wasn't entirely successful to start off with. And there is a little bit of a twist in the tail. So anyway, let's get started uh, by pulling the machine apart and having a look what the problem is. Okay, so we can start by removing the soap tray that's uh, just unclipped and pulled out. Then it's time to remove the lid of the machine. Now we've got two T20 Torx bits, one on either side of the machine. They don't need to be unscrewed entirely because um, once they're sort of loose, you can just simply unhinge the lid and set that aside. Next up is to remove the knob that just pulls off and then by gently getting behind the acrylic we'll reveal some more Torx heads. Now all the um, Torx on this machine are T20s so they're nice and easy to remove. There's two behind the acrylic and then there's another three. Uh, one here on the right hand side, one in the middle and one on the left hand side of the machine. This is the one on the middle. And then finally on the right hand side, oh sorry, left hand side of the soap dish. And that allows the uh, front of the machine uh, bezel to be removed. I'm now removing the spring clip on the boot, which is just a case of pulling it. The lock mechanism can be released. Now turning to the foot or kick plate of the machine, there's a couple of Torx bits on the left and right hand side. And then this reveals a fixing at the underside of the front door. There's two fixings, one on either side. Sorry, uh, four screws in total, two fixings. Two fixings at the top, one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side. And finally, for the front of the machine, there's an M10 or other 10 millimeter bolt right in the center just below the door. I found it easier to leave this bolt into the, the last minute uh, as it can take the, the weight of the whole of the front of the machine. So that allows the front of the machine to be set aside, I'm just releasing the um, yellow tongue which is, is the door release mechanism. We can then work on the sides of the machine and there are three fixings on the front. Then there are three fixings on the top of the machine. Again, all T20 Torx bits. and three finally on the back of the machine. Now this then allows the two sides of the machine to be removed and we've got full access to uh, most areas of the machine.
Now straight away I could uh, see that the dampers were not working at all. The springs uh, uh, seem to be sort of bouncing up and down, but the damper does absolutely nothing. Now there's a damper on each side of the machine and they really should be quite rigid. So there's nothing for it but to pull these off. Uh, I think a 13 millimeter socket and a spanner. So at this point I think I'll speed the video up. There's no need to see it in uh, real time. Hopefully it's not too fast that you can't see what's going on. Once the rams were removed I could um, check the part number and indeed the rams or dampers rather were uh, easy to find online, no, no, no problem with that. I also removed the left hand side damper that was also just as shot as the one on the right hand side and indeed they seem to be sold in pairs so it uh, seems sensible to change them both at the same time. A little bit tricky to get to this one because of the water pump on the left hand side but uh, yeah it's, it's not, not, not difficult to remove them. Here are the new rams. You can see that they're very stiff in comparison to the old ones. And fitting is pretty much the reverse of removal. The only slightly tricky thing was that the ram uh, it has to be pushed up uh, and out of the way because the drum's sitting quite low at this point. So with the bolts back in position, I tighten them up. Um, tighten them as I tried to make a mental note when I removed them to uh, to sort of remember how tight they were. Don't want these coming adrift of course. Now it's at this point I want to uh, just describe what I did next. Now I put the machine back together again and everything worked but the machine was still quite noisy. Um, and so about a week later I, I got frustrated and I um, pulled the machine apart and maybe it's at this point I should sort of just hand over to the video that I did after at that point and uh, you can see what I discovered inside the machine so here we go so um, I've got the washing machine apart again um, it was a lot better with the uh, new rams, but it wasn't uh, by far from perfect in fact. Um, put a heavy load on uh, yesterday and it was banging and chuffing like uh, nobody's business. So I wondered whether I got some duff rams or whether I'd sort of misinstalled it somehow. But I've checked everything, I mean I've, I've sort of had this off so it's loose at the moment. but. Um, Everything seems to be okay, but what I have noticed, and I've just made a small change here, notice this spring, which is um, embedded on the top of the uh, frame, and there's four of them, uh, one at each corner of the drum. You'll notice that there are three different slots here, and I've just moved it from this top slot to this middle slot. I'm thinking that these springs, um, after 20 years, have probably got a little bit of permanent set in them and um, what I mean by that is that they are uh, expansion springs, tension springs and if I was to take that spring out completely it probably doesn't have the same springiness that it did when it was first new. So yeah I've moved that from the top slot to the mid slot to lift the drum up ever so slightly. Um, this front one here Apologies for the handheld camera work here. This one already seems to be on the higher slot. Interestingly enough, if I go across to the other side, this one's in the different slot. So I think I'll move this one from this slot here. Sorry about the focus. From here to here. Again, to lift this drum up. And I'll do the same at the this spring on this side and move that to the middle slot. Anyway, let me do that and see how it works. So there you have it, that's the rear one down now on the uh, middle. And this front one here, hopefully that will focus up, is now on the bottom rung.
And indeed, that, that if, you, if I haven't uh, changed the damper position, but you can see now that the damper will have to be a little bit more extended to uh, reach the bracket. Let's do that now. A little bit of hand camera work. Uh, there we go. So that at the bottom of the ram gives me more travel. It's more in its midpoint now. Whereas um, when I fitted them new, all it was doing is just going bang, bang, bang. And indeed, this may have been the original source of the problem. Because I guess if you continuously bang against the end of the ram, you're going to damage the metal casing in some way, or the plunger. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, this has really fixed it. Now of course, um, pulling the whole drum up will have put this on a slightly higher centre point. But um, in terms of where it should be, I'm hoping that I obviously haven't changed anything. So the whole geometry is as it would have been when the washing machine was new, a little bit higher. Obviously as the weight of the clothes and the water inside will we'll pull that down. Um, and of course the boot here is there to accommodate those sort of uh, changes in height and flexion and what have you. So uh, yeah, let's see how it works anyway. So there we are, uh, back where we started. Yes, the machine's back together and working fine. The dampers clearly had failed, but I believe that the springs have extended. So. You know, actually in reality it's probably better to change the dampers and the springs at the same time. Maybe I'll have to go back in uh, in a couple of years and <laughs> redo those. Anyway, for the moment, it's okay. See you now. ta -ra.